Uh, the purpose of our visit uh, is to assess the state of readiness of our institutions uh, for the first phase return of students in terms of our plans according to the various alert levels in managing COVID-19. Uh, we chose the Tswana University of Technology, not because it is closed as such, but it's our largest contact university in the country. Not only in the country, by the way, in the African continent. It's got about 64,000 students and 6,700 staff members. So it's a huge institution. We chose to visit it precisely because it poses particular challenges, just to see how, how ready they are. I must say, though, that uh, the last two hours or so that I've spent here, uh, I'm very impressed with the levels of preparations thus far. They have a plan on when they are going to be returning students, the first group, and the students who have also clinical training who have returned. Just if you look at the markings also, on the floor and some of the lecture halls that one has seen, you can see that there's actually a plan. Like for instance, the one lecture hall we went into, it's now marked in such a way that instead of the 120 students that it normally carries, it's gonna carry 40 students, 45 students, which is very important. I'm also impressed by the fact that this campus is producing its own sanitizers, but it's not just for this campus, it's for the university as a whole. Through, they've repurposed one of our chemical, one of their chemical laboratories, that in the light of COVID-19, they then are producing sanitizers as well as disinfectants to deal with COVID-19. We need clips in order to perform So now we can't continue the consequences of this corona bill. We have to study at home, and which is difficult because more of our work is in the lab, not in manual or writing. TUT has uh, asked us to make sanitizers. So we're dealing with hand sanitizers, surface sanitizer, and also liquid hand soap. We're also very happy about the fact that the university has also been undertaking its own internal reprioritization of its budget such that it's able to redirect resources to be able to deal with this invisible enemy, COVID-19. So that has been the essence and the impressions I've had of my visit to